Alright, recording two of this. So, basically, I had a painting, or a uh, speed paint that I wanted to post, but I was a dumbass and I lost it um, due to me shutting down my laptop um, and not saving it before I shut, shut it down. So, um, this speed paint will go along with the excerpt that I'm about to read. Um, I would have liked if it was the other speed paint, but it's okay. So these two characters are sc on screen are um, Lucin and Arden. Lucin is on the right, Arden is on the left. Um, I'm going to be reading an excerpt from Lucin's perspective, so I hope you enjoy. As I lay there, the stars above me, I think about what it would have been like if he had never left, if he'd had any say in the matter. It was wishful thinking, really to think that he would stay for me. He couldn't, as his parents were moving. We were young then. It was the summer of our 15th year. I remember the day he left so vividly that it still makes me emotional. Instead of a memory, it's more like a movie playing in my head. You know, like one of those pictures that makes you sob uncontrollably. He thinks I'm sleeping. He's just staring into the fire, seemingly without a thought behind his eyes. Or maybe it's too many thoughts all at once that he can't process. His eyes appear weary and sorrowful. He's taken on an air of world weariness. It's true I haven't seen him in a long time, so maybe they've been that way for a while. He doesn't realize it, but even though his eyes are fatigued, they are the most beautiful eyes I'd ever seen. Green like an emerald, making them stand out in front of his pale gray skin. As I look up at these stars, I think about how I'd rather be looking into his eyes instead, and this is what keeps me awake. I turn and look at him. He must have heard me move because he looks over at me and smiles. I return his kind gesture. It's so good to see him again. Maybe this time I can muster up the courage to tell him how I feel, how I felt, all this time. Hey, so that was the <laughs> that was the excerpt. I hope you liked it. I tried to read it my best. It's as of recording this, it's currently uh, almost midnight, and I have work at nine in the morning. So <laughs> I can't sleep though. So um, basically, this this speed paint that I'm doing represents the part in the excerpt where. Um, they smile at each other, um, so <laughs> if you didn't catch on to that. The speed paint that I had planned was uh, Lucin laying on the ground in front of the fire and Arden staring into the fire like the excerpt says, but like I said, I lost a speed frame for that! Um, but you know what? <laughs> you know what? It's fine. Um, but uh, sorry for the lack of speed paints, I guess. I just haven't been motivated to draw digitally as much, um, and it's gonna slow down a lot more because. Ooh, sorry, I yawned. Haha. <laughs> um, it's gonna slow down a lot more because uh, school will be starting in a couple of weeks for me. Um, my junior year of college. Yay. Um, maybe I'll have some animations posted up on my YouTube so I can keep track because I am starting my first animation class this fall, which is super fun. But anyways, I really hope you like um, all the story that I've been sharing so far. Hopefully, uh, I will have designs for more characters out digitally soon for you guys to see. Um, until then, this will have to do. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the speed paint, and I'll see you in the next one.